so Terrence, uh, for those on our team that aren't familiar with track and field and might not know who you are, uh, would you be able to give them uh, a quick overview of, of who you are and what you've done? Okay, thanks Kevin. Uh, I'm Terrence Trammell, uh, three-time Olympic hurdler, uh, two-time silver medalist, two-time world champion, and co-American record holder in the 60-meter hurdles. Um, I've had a 15-year career where I retired in 2014. Since then, I've been working on speed development and speed enhancement uh, universally for all athletes, and I have a couple of uh, track athletes now that I work with um, back at home in Atlanta. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, so we've, we've gone deep with the talent, uh, and uh, Terrence has been fantastic to work with. Uh, so we'll split this into, into two. First, we'll talk about from a coach's perspective, and then we'll talk about from an athlete's perspective. Sure. Um, as, as a coach uh, at your training facility in Atlanta, uh, just give us an idea of uh, the, the most valuable way that you've found to use this. How has it been the most helpful from a, from a coach's standpoint? So I think one of the most helpful ways that the sports performance trainer has helped me uh, as a coach is it's allowed me to see the, uh, the type of running mechanics that my athletes have. Uh, the incline on the machine actually makes it very, very easy to have proper running form. Um, it's allowed us to do interval work with the athletes uh, in confined spaces due to the fact that there are not many indoor facilities in our area that can uh, be used for maximal speed training. We use this machine and it's done wonders for us uh, as far as being able to prepare our athletes. We intended this to be used for sprinting, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. um, in, in replacing activities, uh, has this been something that uh, has required a long learning curve to use for sprinting? Um, so that would be uh, one part of it and then uh, the other part of it, have you had anyone run longer than 30 seconds on it? So to answer your first question, I think that um, this is a, a brilliant way to do speed training, to do sprint training. Uh, unlike regular treadmills that bring the belt to you, uh, this particular uh, speed trainer actually makes you pull the belt. Okay, so it's self-propelled is what I say. Uh, you have to do the work in order to get it, the belt to move. It will go as fast as you make it go, or it will go as slow as you get it to go. Uh, so I think it's perfect for safety reasons, obviously. Uh, you know, with ordinary treadmills, you blast it up to however fast it'll go, and you just jump on and hold on for dear life. Uh, for this one, it actually goes at your rate of speed, at your rate of force and pressure. Uh, and so with that, we've been able to do uh, a lot of different things as far as tempo training, uh, speed training, our sled training for starts and things like that. And to answer your question, uh, Kevin, yes, I have had uh, one athlete in particular to do uh, 45 second intervals uh, on the speed trainer. Uh, it's my young athlete that's a uh, high school 200 meter runner. So we use that for the speed endurance and the running strength portion of our training session. And uh, she's done quite well. She's a very talented, very strong uh, individual. And so uh, she was able to handle it. If we switch gears a little bit and go to the athlete mm -hmm. perspective, so if I'm, if I'm an athlete looking to, to get an understanding of what the benefits are, uh, I want to gain a couple tenths. Uh, how, how would I use that? Uh, what are the benefits of the performance trainer? I think one key benefit for the performance trainer for any athlete is the fact that it challenges you to work. Uh, it's not a machine where you can just get on and just start to run. You have to put some type of force into the belt in order for the belt to go. And I think that is uh, paramount for any type of success as far as sprinting goes. What I like to say is we don't land on the ground, we use the ground to push us forward. And I think that uh, the challenge behind the speed trainer uh, allows the athlete to do that because you actually have to put force into the belt to get it to run. And so um, those are, are key components. I think uh, also the incline, the slight incline, uh, that the sports performance trainer has uh, kind of forces 
the athlete to put his or her foot under their hips, which is what you need for optimal speed, uh, speed enhancement. So not only that, just the uh, different components of it as far as like the, uh, the parachute, uh, the parachute design that they have for the, le the lever of resistance, um, as well as the, um, the sled. Mm -hmm. You know, the sled is good for uh, driving out, using it for good starts and uh, good start position. So it has a lot of key components that I think are very valuable for uh, any athlete to use for better performance. All right. So let's, let's stay on that for a little bit. And you talked about uh, using the sled uh, brake and then the sled bar to push uh, for working on starts and building explosive power. Mm -hmm. um, so one piece of it, and there, there are two brakes. There's the sled brake and then there's the parachute brake. Mm -hmm. um, how have you used the parachute brake or have you found there uh, a specific advantage to using the parachute brake uh, for, for sprinting drills or is there anything specific about how you've used it? So with the parachute brake, uh, of course we do use it for resistance. We use it at the beginning of say a 10 second or 15 second interval run. So with the 10 second run we would go maybe 5 seconds with the parachute uh, and then switch it off so that the athlete could run uh, as close to full speed as possible for the remainder of the time. And then with the 15 seconds, we will go probably seven seconds uh, with the parachute, and then we would switch it off for the last eight so that the athlete could then again maximize, uh, maximize the, the sprinting mechanics. And I think it serves two purposes. I think one, it allows the nervous system uh, to really ramp up when you take the parachute off uh, and really go, and then it just helps with the resistance and the power uh, when you have the, the resistance on. So uh, that, that is a, a very key component to us using the parachute uh, lever for the resistance. Uh, as far as the brake is concerned, we just slowly apply the brake as the athlete is slowing down mm -hmm. uh, to help because the machine will at some point have a mind of its own and continue to spin very fast. Uh, because it was keeping up with the athlete. So. Sure, sure. Um, all right, is there anything else? So we've talked about from a coach's perspective, we talked about from an athlete's perspective. Uh, is there anything else as we wrap up that uh, you would think to be uh, valuable for our sales team on, on how to use it or, or how best to use it? Uh, I would say the best way to use this is as a supplement to uh, what normally is done outside. Uh, if there's any point in time where the weather is just not conducive uh, for running outside, this would be also good for primary training. Uh, I think that this is a great way to help people in rehab uh, be able to get back out on the field. And it's different because, again, it requires the, the, the athlete, uh, whether healthy or getting back to health, to utilize his or her own strength to uh, make the belt go. So I, I, I just really think that that is a wonderful component uh, to this machine. And I think that's what's invaluable about it.